Hey guys, what's up? ScubaFire38 here, and today we're starting out, um, I'm going to show you what I've been doing to our mine hotel and resort. You can kind of see it a little bit right there in the sky. Uh, we're going to go over here, and I'm going to show you what I've done. Um, I am full of food. Yeah, I don't need any food. Okay, let's go out. It just become daylight, so I should be good for a while. This place in the night is overrun by zombies and creepers and witches skeletons and spiders never seen the like I could get some more candles out eventually but I'm just getting started in my world as you can see I built this house first um, then I built this house the fisherman's paradise which is by far my favorite one yet I'm gonna work on some more houses because I'm I'm pretty much done with the mine hotel and resort I still like a little bit but I've gotten kind of, um, I wouldn't say bored of it, but it's been monotonous. Uh, I'd like to do something else, so I'm going to take a break from it for a while and uh, focus on some more houses and some buildings through here because I want to build up this town and i got to fill up all these holes too. I think I picked the hilliest part of the map I could find to build this. <laughs> I kind of regret it now. But you see the village. I redecorated it. And upcoming, you can see the Mine Hotel and Resort. Um, as you've seen in my previous video, the waterfall elevator is the only way I knew to go. I, I never have figured out a better way. So if you guys know of a better way to go from here to there, let me know. Because I've tried a mine cart and everything. But water seems to be the best way to go. So as you can see, I have my parking lot. I still need to be on the road to the village, which won't take too long. But I still got to do that. But as you pull up in your car, you can walk down the red carpet inside. Duke, what are you doing inside here? You're supposed to be at home. And you got a friend? Where did where this guy come from? Hmm, what should I name you? Um, Duke, and I think I'll name you Pedro. Duke and Pedro. It's good names. But uh, as you can see, we have our different colored uh, wolves dispensers here for your room key which this one here is the penthouse suite which is mine as of right now because uh, I'm the only one in this game right now sometimes J Mac 5203 helps me as you can see his house well over with the fire stacks on top but uh, in here after the lobby you've got a couple sitting areas this nice couch and bench and that's pretty much it and the blue block stitch was hard to make and here we have our little dining area, kitchen, buffet area. And as you can see, we serve cake. We have all kinds of cake. Um, I'm assuming each one of these is a different flavor, maybe. I don't know. But you come in here and eat your cake. Um, look at our nice pictures of this creeper spying on you. Um, and here we have our water elevator. So let's go up. As you can see, it's a little on the slow side. That's the reason why I don't like this water elevator, because it takes forever to get up to the top. But this is the only way I know to build one. If you guys know of a better way, please let me know, because I would love to have something that was faster than this. Need some elevator music. That'd be nice. Do, 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 do. You know, some kind of type of music? I don't know. <laughs> so let's keep going up. As you see, I put our signs in here so we don't lose our air. We don't get hurt. And here is the first floor. All right, we have here the pumpkin room. Go inside, and as you can see, I have decorated this with jack-o'-lanterns and pumpkins. Which I kind of like this room. It's just kind of nice uh, for the first floor, you know. The thing about the first floor rooms is they have the nicer bathrooms. Of course, you got your toilet here with a little opener. And here you have your shower. Come in, you can take a shower. Of course, uh, I didn't take the time to make it working. Sorry. But as you can see, this was very time consuming getting all the supplies because the wool, especially. Oh my gosh. I've never shaved so many sheep in my life. But um, this is this room. 
the pumpkin room. And let's check out the aquarium room. Alright, the aquarium room. Of course, you got your little waterfall with water fountain here. Your nice views. As you can see, uh, different houses down there and villages. I uh, got a nice little lounge chair here, and a bed, and our little aquarium here with a fish inside of it. Some mushrooms. And then this bathroom. It's a little laid out different, see? You got your shower here. You have your sink. And then your bathtub. Where you can take a bath. While you look out at the beautiful views above the clouds. Alright, get out, get out. As you can see, there's no, no toilet because there's no room for a toilet. So uh, I guess you just have to hold it or go in the shower. I don't know. So that's that room, the pumpkin, and the aquarium. And as you see, this is uh, how we came. No, this ain't how we came. This is how we go up again. Isn't it? I get confused. All right, this is the second floor. We have the art room and the jungle room. Let's go in the art room, I guess, first. Uh, didn't really like the art room. It wasn't my favorite thing to build, but uh, as you can see, we have plenty of paintings. The creeper, the, I have no idea. Um, don't know what any most of these are, but. And we have our little um, sculpture here. Don't have a clue what it's supposed to be, but it's it, you know it's an art room, so art is what you take it. They say. And here we have our bathtub. Ooh. With our light-up blocks, and we got um, a toilet and a shower and another little painting and a view of the mountain tops over here. So this is the art room. Very sophisticated. Not really my style, but okay. Okay, now let's go to the jungle room. I have no desire to stay in this room because it looks like it would have bugs. <laughs> Mosquitoes look like they would live in here. You'd have to have some kind of bug spray in here all the time, but uh, if you're the outdoorsy type, this would be the place for you. We have different types of trees. We got pictures of trees. We have vines growing on their jungle canopy here then here is the bathroom which we have another bathtub overlooking the cloud tops we have our toilet and a shower so that's it for this room the jungle room all right Let's head up to the next floor. Remember this floor had the jungle room and art room. Okay. Let's see. To the third floor. So let's go up. We don't be struck with that. It's coming a storm. Okay. I'm not scared of a storm. I'm in a high rise. What's going scared of? Okay. This room here is called the... We'll start with this one. The food room. Of course you got your little decorative thing here. Uh, we're going inside the food room here. And in here you have nothing but food. You have cakes, jukebox, pictures of different foods, this nice little sitting area, and this nice bed with pictures of food on it. Okay, then in here we have our bathroom. We have a sink, shower, toilet, and a very small bathtub, but it still works. It's just small. As you can see, you can look down over top of the towns and the villages. It's got an awesome view up here. I do say so myself. Okay, out of the bathroom. One more look at the bed here. It's a double bed. And over here is just basically just some lanterns because uh, didn't have nothing put over. So that is the food room. All right, now we're going to the weapons room. As you can see, it is not made out of wool. It is made out of all brick. That is because I had a massive fire here. 
it burnt all of this side, a little bit over here. It burnt the third floor, the second floor, all the way down to the bottom floor on this side. I mean, it took me a lot of rework. So I made this all out of brick because of what's inside here. We have fire and lava. I don't know which one it was. I think it might have been the lava, but I had bricks to here and had the outside walls here made out of wool but somehow these outside walls caught on fire so ended up making the whole thing all the way out to the hallway and brick and so far we've not caught fire but as you see you have your little lava waterfall with your different pictures of your weapons some gold axes a gold sword your uh, little fireplace here here's your bedroom with bows and arrows and some more stone sword and a thing of TNT. So this is the weapons room. And in here we have another bathroom. We just have a, you know, the bathtub, a toilet, and a shower. And that's pretty much it with the weapons room. Like I say, I can do a little few more things to spice this up in here, but uh, it's grown monotonous at this time. Collecting materials and building everything and rebuilding at one time, so I'm taking a break. I'll we'll put the finishing touches on this room later. But This is the weapons room and the food room. So now we're going up to the very last room, my penthouse. And let's go up. slowly but surely this is the penthouse all right we'll start here we have our couch so we can watch this uh, skeleton set here in our TV area we have a jukebox different storage areas I have nothing in this one but here's our different storage areas here is the beginning of the lava waterfall which is pretty cool but I assume it probably gets a little hot here beside the bed but uh, this is the bed it's real decorative made out of quartz all the stuff in this room is made out of quartz we have another couch we have this little decorative piece with a of course your library books underneath if you want them okay and then you have your little waterfall area to come back down waterfall elevator another chair beside the warm fire and out here you have your big lookout tower we can come up and see everything all around of course there is the parking lot I've got to finish my road to my village here uh, over there is our first house and you cannot see the fisherman's paradise from here I guess the clouds have it blocked but as you can see I have a lot more world to build on to I wanna you know go over this way some more I wanna add on to the village I wanna add a police station a fire station some more buildings uh, some more houses over through here and over through here and eventually let's see if we can see from over here I want to make it to this side and make it to the jungle area but uh, we got a lot of building to do as you can see here is our uh, chandelier and at the very tip top um, let's turn on our flying so I can show you what the very tip top looks like as you can see it goes up to a straight point I'd eventually like to put a beacon on the very top top, but I have not been able to get one of those yet. So uh, this is as far as it's going right now. If I had some more redstone blocks, I'd put one of them on top, but I am out of redstone. Oh, let's um, go down. We'll just cheat and go down this way. As you can see... Here is my mine sign for a mine hotel and resort. I have not done a whole lot on the resort part. I added a waterfall here that goes into uh, this pool area. 
You got that? I thought that was pretty nice. Uh, hop up there, hop up there. Alright, here is another pool area. We have a bunch of uh, lounge chairs to get out by the pool with. And we even have a little diving board here. So you can dive into the pool. So I got more plans for this resort area, but uh, like I say, I'm just burnt out on building this because that was so time consuming. I built all of this from scratch. I started with one block in the sky and built all this. Let's fly up again. As you can see underneath it, I added all these little, uh, to make it kind of look like the building had been torn apart and was floating. I'm all into the Fallout uh, games, and I thought this kind of looked like something from Fallout. Maybe if they were made of Fallout, uh, Washington, D.C., or New York City, or something, it would look like this. So, yeah, uh, kind of looked like it floated up, but uh, this is the My Hotel and Resort. Oh, man, this place is crawling with creatures. But, uh, as you can see... This is what it looks like, and I have a little ways to go to get to there, but guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to make it short and sweet, and that is the tour of the Mine Hotel and Resort. Um, be sure to give me some comments, guys, and some feedback on what you think about it. Um, maybe what I should add or something. Uh, I'm all open to suggestions, and uh, guys, I hope you like my videos, and subscribe if you want to see some more great stuff, because... I have a ton of ideas still to do, and I want to fill this whole area up with buildings eventually and make us just this whole town without all of these bad guys. They get on my nerves because it's, you know how hard it is to build a night and have to keep killing these guys, and then the creepers blow up, and ugh, it's a job. But that is all for today, so stay safe, guys.